in this test, test script we have already managed to separate all the data of the test, the input data and the expected output, from the actual script that uh, runs the function and checks whether it's the same. If you run the script, everything is fine except of the failing test that we know. What if we could actually separate this data? So if we create a separate file, which is just the data, as you can see, the first value is the expected value 2 in this case, in the first row, and 1, 1 is the input in this array. And if you will go back to the test file, that this, this is what we have. It's an arbitrary uh, format, we just made it up. And we also changed the script. Uh, there is a separate file already implemented, so you won't have to see me typing all this data in, uh, all the code in. What I did is replaced the begin block. Instead of having there the data, there is a small piece of code that will read in the file, open the file, read it in line by line, chomp it off the, the new line, then uh, skip if this is a comment, and then split up the, the data where there's a comma or an equal sign. These are the separations. This goes into the array at data, and then a reference to the, this at, at data is pushed into this array cases. With this, actually, we recreated the data in time inside the script. If you run the test script again, this time it will return the, the same uh, data exactly as earlier. So now we have managed to totally separate the data from the code, which allows us to separate the experts. So we can have these experts who know how to calculate, use the sum function, and they can fill out the, the, this uh, file and they don't have to know anything about Perl. And on the other hand, the Perl programmers don't need to know anything about the business logic of actually this sum function.